Okay, this should have been topic number one. What is FFT and how is it done? We're not talking about taking probiotics or even ingesting a pill full of other people's poop. We're talking about like up the butthole, somebody else's poop going in your pooper. So to be clear, that's what we're talking about here. That's how you acquire the new microbes that are being transplanted into your body. Colon to colon. Yep. Yep. Poop in the pooper. The ultimate sharing experience, really. Yes. Yes. But some people get really weirded out by the idea of, A, putting anything up their butt, but B, putting somebody else's fecal material up their butt. So with the cost and the travel and the squeamish factor... Right. I can see why it becomes a last ditch resort for people because those three things do make it kind of unappealing and unobtainable for many people. Yeah. And I, I would say too, um, an interesting, like when people try to do their own, like DIY, DIY. DIY fecal transplant, like to me, that seems just very messy and just kind of, uh, you know, dicey for a number of reasons. Like if you do it, like where I went, I went to the Tame Out Clinic, which they've been doing FMTs for like, I think it was like 20 years, something like that. And they have like super poop donors where they literally will have them eat a hundred different foods a month. Like they will monitor that, look at like how their bacteria is affected. Mm -hmm. And they're really like good about getting great donors Um, And they have perfected the process of how you extract poop, which like if you're trying to do it on your own, that whole process gets messed up because the bacteria is exposed to the air. So like what bacteria is in your transplant is going to totally change. Whereas how they extract it, they sort of do it to protect uh, the microbes that are going to be exposed to the air. And the million dollar question, and probably why you get a lot of emails about this, is do you feel like it helped you? And do you think that that has stuck with you now years down the road? Yeah, I think, again, from my standpoint, I would say going there really helped kick off my journey in a positive way. Like it helped Mm -hmm. get me out of a rut. Um, I would say I probably improved 50 to 60 percent with the FMT. Yeah. Um, symptom wise, kind of energy wise, it didn't solve all my problems. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, what I probably thought then, and I think a lot of people think now is like, oh, if I just like correct the gut, all the problems will go away. Yeah. And a lot of times it can be the other way around where it's like, you have to address these other pieces of the puzzle in order to get gut function operating optimally. Yeah. Um, so you know, I definitely think it was positive. I think that it's had positive benefits long term. Um, Do I think it's this like a total miracle cure? No. Um, And I think again, it also probably depends on, you know, how much work was done leading up to the FMT. Mm -hmm. um, And where someone's kind of coming from. Because, like, if someone's coming and getting the FMT, kind of like me, where my adrenals were fried, my thyroid was still a mess, my my liver enzymes were elevated at that time, Mm. and they actually did fall. Like, I had blood work showing them falling after the FMT. Um, So there was just a lot going on still in different systems that I think once I sort of, when I got back, it was like, okay, this sort of helped with the some imbalances that were going on, but I still have these other issues that, that are still probably affecting digest that were still affecting digestion somewhat. Yeah. Um, in other aspects of my health. So from my standpoint, again, I felt like it was very helpful for me. Um, was it something that totally turned things around like completely? No. Um, but, and I would say too, I I've seen mixed results from other, people that have gotten it. Some people Mm -hmm. didn't really get much benefit uh, at all, which I mean, would be a big letdown. I feel like if you like traveled to another country. Um, And then other people I see like kind of like me where it was really beneficial for Mm -hmm. them. So it, it it can be one of those things where I, I think is a little bit um, hit or miss depending on kind of where you're at when you go a lot of the people that I've talked to that have done it have been in pretty, pretty bad shape. Uh, so kind of 
pretty severe when they're going to get the FMT. But yeah, I mean, again, from my standpoint, you still need to address kind of root causal areas that, that could be driving the dysbiosis. Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, click the like button, and leave a comment down below with the videos that you would like to see me do next. Doing all of those really helps support the channel and support my efforts in making as many videos as possible for you guys. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.